all right now i'm going to show you how you can plot a scatter plot or you can say a point plot for covid 19 data previously we had seen how to plot a bar plot now in the scatter plot it is also known as a point plot you can come here all right in this reference guide there you will notice a scatter plot and the point plot let me show you where this is an it's somewhere here all right you can just control and find then you want you, you type there the point plot all right so there you need to type there geom actually all right so there you have there all right so this one is the point plot just open it and i'm going to just get the link of that and then finally i'm going to put it here so that later you can revisit this point plot this point geom this point geom is used to create the scatter plot and this scatter plot is used to display the relationship between the two continuous variable otherwise you can use the one continuous variable and another categorical or two categorical variable so the overall you can say the whatever type of the data variable you have you can use this point geom or you can say the scatter plot this geom point takes the mapping and these are actually by default it's none stats is that the identity that's mean the same type of the data it's going to plot there and some of the other parameter which is which uh, which is uh, being given to this plot the details of this plot is given below like you can pass the x y you can plot you can pass there the alpha that's mean the transparency level then you can pass there a color fill group and other other things all right don't worry about that in the coming lectures i'll be showing you how you can pass and change these color and the sizes of the points all right super let's go ahead and come back to our scatter plot notebook thereafter here we have our data set if you remember previously we had created our data set for the us all right so this was this was for us and similarly we had a latest data set which was for all countries all right this was the data for all countries i'm going to just plot here the data for united states only all right so for the us these are the confirmed cases recovered and the death cases i'm going to just plot it against this date value so what i need to do here i need to get the gg plot ggp equal to gg plot and inside that we need to pass their data the data is us then we need to pass their aesthetics in the aesthetics we pass x axis is equal to the date and the y axis we want to pass as confirmed cases there you have this one and if you try to print this ggp you will notice here a blank plot is there and the one thing you also notice there the size of these axis is greater what we had previously by default because in a previous lectures we had set it in our theme as a by default size that's when the base size is 20 there all right perfect let's go ahead and add here our geom point so you need to just put here a plus sign thereafter we need to put here our geom point all right you need to keep pressing the tab to get these suggestions thereafter you have this one geom point let's go ahead and run it super this is awesome so what do you see there you see this increment of covid cases in united states of the america it is given which uh, which is perhaps is coming from the march to april july october and it says that how the corona cases is increasing the us all right superb and you don't need to set any of other default variable which we had already updated while updating the default value in our theme 
all right now inside this geom point we can give the size is equal to the three it's going to increase the size of the scatter plot these plot look like a line plot because we do not have the any data which has a uh, which is uh, scattered around the axis. So this data is kind of line plot. That's why you are able to see there. Otherwise, if you set it like 0 0.5, the size, then you will notice there, this plot is uh, plotted as a point plot there. All right. But I'm going to set the size is as a two. Thereafter, you can also change the color there. So I set the color. If you remember, we had their color is equal to the color so it was a color something like this you can also add here the titles and other things so those things i'm going to set it with the labs so there i have here labs in the labs we had there a title in the title i say here total confound cases in us and i say here year 2020 all right super this is awesome total confirmed cases in us i think let's go ahead and make this c in capital year 2020 all right and says that this is how it is increasing there super this is awesome now you don't need to set anything else there you can also set there the subtitle as well in the subtitle, I say there COVID-19 cases. All right. Super. This is awesome. Total confirmed cases in US year 2020. There is COVID cases, which I have just used as the subtitle. Later on, you can also use here the caption as well. So you can just put there the caption equal to i say here this one is johns hopkins university so this one is actually source so this caption i'm gonna put as a source data all right let me see what is wrong all right there i need to put the comma just run it thereafter you will notice the source is john hopkins university this one is the title and there you have the subtitle and there is the date and this is a confirmed cases. Super. This is awesome. All right. So this is all about in this lesson. Thanks a lot for watching it. I'll see you next lesson.